Hey, what's up everyone? Super stoked right now. The time has finally arrived. I'm building a brand new HO scale switching layout. All right, so first I'll talk about the purpose for this layout. Now, originally I was gonna wait until we moved into a new home. That way I could find a larger space and build this larger layout that I had in mind. That was gonna be a layout based on the Pensy during the late 50s, early 60s. Somewhere I could mix my steam and diesel locomotives um, that I'm very fond of. However, recently I did a model report on these babies here and I realized that I'm kind of digging the, the later equipment. So what I'm thinking is we're not gonna be moving for a little while and although I have a switching layout over here that functions well, I do want to learn a few more things before I start building this massive layout. Two of those things being structure building and lighting, because I want to incorporate both of those things. I want to get really, really good at it. So I figured, well, I need some place to run this modern equipment. I could do it on here, but that layout's basically finished. Or I could build a new one and run this stuff and learn some new techniques all at the same time. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so the first consideration for me when building this thing is available space to do so. Now, I don't have a lot of room down here, and at one point I was thinking of having this L-shaped uh, modular bench work for a layout, and I've decided against that. It's just going to be too much too soon still. Uh, I really want to focus in on honing these skills, and I don't want a huge space to try to do that on. It's just going to be too overwhelming. So I figured I'll condense it down have a smaller space, but still large enough to have some fun operating sessions on. Now I still have this hollow core door here that I haven't gotten rid of. Um, I'm going to create a new workbench to open up some more space down here. It's going to be smaller than this, but before I do that, I figured why don't I take advantage of this. I have a nice flat surface to work on to plan my next switching layout on. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've got 80 inches this way. And I figured I'll go probably 22 inches deep on it, and that should give me enough room for some switching operations. And I think I want removable cassettes, uh, cassettes on both ends. That way I can have some staging options and have some fun that way. All right, so the next thing on my agenda is to figure out the theme of this layout, something that's going to tie it all together. And I've always wanted to create like an industrial warehousey type of feel in one of my layouts. And since this layout is going to be dedicated to structure building and lighting, I figured now was the perfect time to do that. I think it'll tie it together really nice, and I'll be running a lot of newer equipment, so I think it'll, it'll all mesh really well. So, the first thing I did was I jumped on the internet, did a search, threw in some search terms like industrial warehouse, and this is the first image that popped up that really spoke to me, and I really like it a lot. I like the mood that's in it, I like the utility poles with the wires, the fact that there, there's um, this alleyway going right down the center of the buildings, I think that's pretty cool. Um, I'd like to see some buildings on my layout that are a little bit older, that are still being used today. So I came across this image here, and I think this kind of speaks more to the era of the buildings that I want on this layout. In fact, I like the building behind this one to the right of the image there, I think that kind of fits the bill. And I'd like to see a little bit more concrete, um, not too much brickwork to make it um, too tedious to do. Um, but at the same time, I want this, this type of feel. Between these two photos, um, I think I can make it work. So now that I've figured out the theme for this layout, next it's time to work on some track work. Oh, and fun fact, this is actually not a desk. This is actually the wood I picked up for the bench work, but that's for another video. Get back to this video. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the track plan so far. Now, usually what I do is I'll whip out a piece of paper, I'll start sketching on it, and then once I have something that I think I'm happy with, I'll open up AnyRail 6. This is the trial version, so you can have up to 50 pieces of free layout going on here before you need to pay for it. Great for small. Uh, switching layouts like what I create, so I doubt I'll ever have more than 50 pieces of anything um, in these layout planning uh, sessions here. So uh, that works out well. Very first thing I did was I started laying the track out. As you can see here, I have my track plan. Now I'll be using 
Microengineering Code 70 uh, for the track and the turnouts, um, simply because that's what I have on hand, so that works well. And also, this is going to be an industrial warehouse switching layout, so I don't need to have any sort of mainline traffic uh, happening on here, so I think Code 70 will look quite nice with this. And these are number six turnouts. I have number five turnouts on my current HO switching layout, and some of the locomotives have a hard time navigating them. Sometimes they like to jump the rail a little bit, so I wanted something with a wider radius uh, so I don't have any issues going forward with that part. So that's what I'll be using there. And what I wanted for this layout, since it'll be a, a I'm calling it Warehouse Alley, so it's be a bunch of warehouses close together um, that are kind of like in a row, and there's a branch line that comes down here and a local services these industries. I figured I want at least two industries on here, so I created a spur here and a spur here, and each will have their own respective industry. It's a runaround track here for doing uh, switching for both sides, so that'll provide some nice uh, switching operations and some variety there. And these red lines on the track diagram here represent where I want staging cassettes. So the right side will be like a three foot section of track to stage the incoming train. And the left side will be like an 18 or 20 inch section of cassette where it will represent the inside of the industry over here. So there'll be a large garage door and then on that cassette, I'll model the inside of that industry. I figured that'd be a great way, a great opportunity to model both indoor and outdoor structure and lighting. And since the main focus of this layout is structure and lighting uh, with a track plan built around it, I figured that'd be a great opportunity to hone in on those skills. All right, so going on to the structures, this is where I think I want them. I know I want a large industry here and here. Uh, so the spurs could have their own dedicated industries. Again, there'll be a large garage door on this side, so trains can go in and out of there uh, for loading and unloading. And then I dedicated a section of this industry for uh, loading docks for trucks, so they can have both rail served and truck served um, traffic there. And then over here, this will be like a large... Uh, loading dock over here with some ground level loading unloading area as well and then I also diagrammed out where I think I want asphalt or concrete as you can see there's a lot <laughs> on this layout <clears throat> in fact most of the um, visible section ground level visible section of this layout will be covered in some sort of roadway or parking lot and so uh, that's for a future video on how I think I'm going to be doing that. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I got a lot of testing stuff involved with that to figure out which material I want to use. So more on that later. Um, in this middle section, I wasn't sure what I wanted in here. Um, I wasn't sure if I'm just going to fill it with structure or use this as a giant parking lot with maybe some loading bays over here. Haven't quite decided on that yet, but I have decided that this industry, oops, the, <laughs> this one and this one will definitely be there, and those will be the main focus of the switching operations. After working up the track plan and structure placement that I think I want, I print out the track plan and I start taping the various sheets together. This way I can lay the track plan down right on my work surface, and I can start to get a feel for it right away. Um, I'm pretty happy with it at the moment, so I don't think I'll be tweaking it too much, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Next, I mocked up some structures out of foam core board and started placing them on my work surface just to see how they look and get a nice feel for it. Again, I might or might not fill in that middle section, still undecided on that right now, but I did decide to use a bridge as a view block for the right side of the layout, so I think that'll look really nice. The other nice thing about these paper templates is that it allows me to start testing things like rail car clearance and mocking up various operations to see if I like how the whole thing feels. Um, all in all, I think it's working out so far. All right, so we've got the makings of a brand new HO scale switching layout. It's got a purpose, theme, track plan, basic structure placement. Um, very excited to start working on this and of course eventually running some trains. So next up, I'm gonna be working on some bench work. There's some ideas that will be borrowing from various places, kind of merging them all together here. I think it's going to work well. And if you like this video, let me know. Hit that like button. As always, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.